Why is it like we lost Jenna Marbles? Like, uh, what? Why is Trisha Paytas still here? Ready or not, here comes Mama. Look at her. Mm. But I ain't one to gossip, so if anyone asks you, you ain't heard it from me. It seems like when I'm gone, everybody just decided to go cray cray. I mean, not really, because the internet, let's be real, it's always been cray cray. So, anyways, I want to talk about two things today. One of them is going to be about Nicocado Avocado, and then the other subject is going to be Trisha Paytas, because you all know. Like Trish Paytas said, you know, she employs all of us and she's got to give all of us, you know, that paycheck. Girl, please. I saw that and I was like, oh my God. I already know that she loves when all of us make videos about her. So I don't even know why. What I think it is, is I think it's re reverse psychology. Um, first and foremost, I want to talk about the whole Nikocado Avocado situation with Ethan Klein. Because I really, really thought, I was like, okay, Nikocado Avocado is going to come out on the H3H3 podcast. Like, it's about to go down. I just made the executive decision to um, not go to that interview i told them no and i'm not going to tell you why on youtube what went down i'm not going to go into the drama here i'm actually i just kind of want to move on but i did put a story time on um well you can, you can check it out if you want to know because a lot of people of mine don't they're not even interested which is very evident by now but i just put it on my patreon account i just put my side of things on there and i explained to you why i said no i explained to you why i'm canceling i'm not going i'm not doing it i was about to watch his video and then he said that he posted over on his patreon um about the whole issue with h3 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 and how he ain't going on the show so i was like and you know my nosy little i couldn't stay away so i went ahead and i bought it I'm just gonna cut down the rundown for y'all of the whole video because it was a pretty lengthy video. But basically, all that Nikocado Avocado said on there, he just didn't like the way um, Ethan was making fun of his weight. He did not like how he was like exposing emails and stuff that was between the two of them, um, putting out all of his business. Like if it was all the dirty laundry, he was just laying it out there. All the canzones and everything was out there, girl, for everybody to see. Nikocado Avocado did not like that. So it was just all those things that said, you know, it was kind of rubbing him raw, you know what I mean? And and then he said that it was all the fat jokes. And now this is where I was like, okay, Nikocado Avocado, I'm gonna give it to you because there's some things that I don't agree with. And I've made videos on him before. Wait. Nikocado Avocado was like, um, I don't mind when I make fun of my own weight, but you can't make fun of my weight. I get it that he doesn't want for him to do it or whatever, but like, Maybe you should have put that in writing or something. I don't know. So he goes in to talk about how uh, he doesn't like the treatment and all the stuff about the money that he was going to make on there. And he didn't want that to be. He was like, why are you going to put that out there? So I guess it was true he was asking for all this money. Like, I don't know. He also went on to say how, you know, it really hasn't been benefiting him much. Like all these videos that H3 has been saying. And that H3 is basically saying like how, oh, it's going to benefit you so much if you come on my show and you're going to get all these subscribers and you know and Nikocado was like girl I ain't seen that many subscribers so I don't know who's this gonna benefit like this is gonna benefit you more than it's gonna benefit me and Nikocado even said on there he was like I get more views you know than and I already was putting out videos and my videos about you Ethan had a low response compared to my regular videos and I was like so he was basically saying that he could see, basically from a business standpoint, that doing this whole interview with Ethan, it just wasn't worth it, you know? And so I think that's what it really was about. He said it was just not one thing. It was a whole bunch of things. And so that was a story on that. Now I wanted to get into something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> When I do a video on Trisha, I like to find like a whole bunch of stuff and then like just talk about all of it at one time. So they're definitely binge worthy. If you haven't, go check out the Trisha Paytas playlist on my playlist uh, little tabby thingy and you can go ahead and watch those and the tea is real. Like, oh my God. So I really haven't seen too many people talking about this. I don't know if it's because of the subject matter or what it is, but... I thought it was interesting. One of the articles that I found was talking about this guy named Evan Gomez and 
how Trisha Paytas dated him or whatever. And I was just like, oh my God, because when I found the article, and I'm going to go ahead and post them up for you somewhere along here. Um, when I found the article, I was reading it and I was just like, oh my goodness, because she didn't care about what he did, basically. She still was supporting him very much like Moses. After these allegations came out, and she was more upset, not for what he did, because she was like, oh, girl, he's trying to change, you know. I'm not even worried about that. You know, I'm just worried because it's not fair to him. In this situation, had I not posted a picture with him and people just taking that and, like, running with it and just, like, finding out all this stuff, um, you know, I probably would have hung out with him again. And it's not because of his past and what people have found out or are accusing him of that I, I'm not talking to him anymore. It's just not fair to him because while this happened years ago, there's already been a judgment. There's, it's not news. It's not, you know, it's not a thing that's current and he's trying to get past it. It's not fair to him. This wasn't the first dude that she dated you know, that is just like, whoa, and supported. But there was this other guy, and his name was Brandon Moody, Moudy. I don't know how you say his name. And I'm just like, how, how is she, like, what? How is it that she has managed to escape all of these controversies, and she's still here? Can somebody please tell me, where is the logic? Shout out to Trishy Land because, you know, y'all get it. I just don't understand how, like, she, what? the other people don't get it? Y'all don't get it. Like, we're showing you the facts. Like, I have a whole playlist of videos showing facts of problematic behavior. Currently still. Not just from the past, but still. And we keeping her? That's what we're, we're deciding to keep her. Houston, we got problems. And a lot of people over on Trishy Land have noticed, um, ooh, my mustache. I felt a little hair tickling my, my little stash. Ooh, I need to shave it. Anywho, <laughs> like I said, they've been doing some investigating and they found her Shmonly Shmams account hasn't been doing good. She's been selling everything and anything, even some little raggedy little clothes that they found a picture of that they said was her mama's. She's even selling her mama's clothes on her Poshmark. So they found all of this stuff. The uh, Just a little while ago, they posted that the, her car, Trisha Paytas' car, the sad boy uh, car that she has special made, she's even selling that. She even talked about in a clip where, um, and I know that that's already on the internet. Y'all could go watch videos about that. But she even commented on the clip about how her weddings, like the LA one or whatever, like kind of made her go into debt and she wishes that she didn't do it or whatever. Now, somebody said that she clarified and that she didn't mean that she's going broke, but people are saying that it looks like if she is because she's selling all this used clothes that they said should have just been donated to the Goodwill to be real. The other things that people are noticing, the engagement is down, the views is down, and she also been losing subscribers, but she been buying subscribers so that that way they go up again and it looks like she ain't under that 5 million sub count mark. Now that is so shady because they're saying that she's doing it so that she don't lose her sponsorship deals and all of that. I don't know how that works because I don't got no 5 million subscribers, but um, I don't know. I mean, maybe it could be, but it's all adding up to look like if she's struggling a little bit. You know all that part? on the movie of Mean Girls when they're like, how do we take down Regina George? And then they have the little list of like, take down her army, take down, take away her money, whatever like that. It seems like if that plan is happening like right before our eyes, am I wrong? Regina George is an evil dictator. Now, how do you overthrow a dictator? You cut off her resources. I mean, that's what it seems like. And so because even her sister moved to Hawaii, like so, and, and we all know, you know, like the Regina George had her loyal band of misfits. We already know that like her, Trisha Paytas' mom and her sister were basically the ones that were always there. I mean, even when she had her little uh, bachelorette party and they was the only guests. But it does seem like if, you know, 
things, the consequences of what Trisha Paytas, the path that she has laid out for herself, it seems like if those consequences are coming to bite her in the you know what. And the only reason why these problematic YouTubers don't like it when we talk about the stuff that they put out there and the actions that they do <clears throat> excuse me the only reason that they don't like it is because they want to be able to still continue to do it you know they will still want to be able to they're like little spoiled little brats if we're being real sorry not sorry they need to know what's right and wrong and i know that they do i know that they do but do they want to admit it no